know it's only four games, which which isn't much. But what's kind of your read on what you've seen from this team to this point? Um, I mean, we're just having a few quarters away from being where we want to be. I feel like if we put it, put the, the same effort that we start in the games with, or whatever we're doing to find success, we play the same way for a full game. We'll come out on the winning side more often than not. And we haven't done so yet, so we're learning. I guess it's, learning. it's a learning curve for us to watch film and see those quarters or possessions where we don't play the right way or play a different type of style of basketball, how teams get back in games and take over games. Jay is a guy that, that prides himself on the defensive end. How tough is it to sort of adjust when league-wide more fouls calls or foul calls are up this year than, than ever before? I mean, the offense that have, are at an advantage on, uh, at the, in this league as of, as of right now, it's a different style of play. But I feel like from, from our standpoint, we've been fouling. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Like, it's a league thing or it's a referee thing. We've been fouling. And you, when, you, when you put yourself in that position, they're going to call it. They're going to call it nine times out of ten. So we haven't been um, getting screwed like we think we have when I went back and watched the film. So mm. it is what it is. What do, what do you, for a guy like Jaron, a young guy, yeah. that has to make adjustments in that kind yeah. of thing? He's so important to what you guys do defensively. How do you sort of keep him? Well, he's been playing with his hands, and I think as much as he can play with his body and get his body, he's, he's, a, he's a big kid. He's a big guy, so uh, make guys score over you. He hasn't done that thus far, he don't, and uh, we, had to, we have to instill that in him. If you're a big body, when you, go, when you put your hands up in the air, it's tough to, to go up and score over you, let alone you trying to go block a shot. So uh, once he get his body in position and continue to watch film and see where he can uh, get better on that end of the court, we'll be fine, but at the same time, it keeps him on the court. We need him on the court as much as possible. So uh, it's a learning curve for him, but he, he's got to stop playing with his hands and play with his body more because he's a tall kid. Jay, you seem to take an obvious leadership role in the team. Uh, what advice do you have for the young guys dealing with high highs like a game like the Nets game and coming behind it with the Lakers game? Well, I tried to show it mentally uh, because I didn't want to keep talking about that shot. I mean, that shot is going to come and go. It's, it's, it's over with. We got a game in less than 24 hours. I've been sending it to the media. I'm trying to get that message out there to my guys. But I try to just come get to LA and just work, try to put some work in the gym and forget about the shot. So uh, I think it's a learning curve for us to see, for our young guys to see how fast things happen in this league and how good things can be and how bad things can be. So uh, would you have a level head? I told him, I told John Brandon the first day and we woke up in Miami for the first game. Welcome to the NBA, but the highs are going to come high and the low is going to come low. You just got to stay even keel. You got to find a medium in all of it, all of the, uh, praise, all of the, the bashment, whatever you read. You got to be even killed and believe in the work that you put in is going to pay off at the end of the day. So I think they saw it firsthand that uh, you can be high in this league and then you can come out and play LA team and get smacked. So it's just the way it is, the way the NBA is. You guys Jackson said that he looks at you as a mentor. Is there something that you'd like to speak on? I'm just, I'm in this corner. He knows I'm in this corner. I've made it, made it um, aware. I made him aware that I'm rooting for him. I want to play alongside him. I want to help him. I'm going to help him be a, a player in this league that uh, a team can depend on, you know, and it starts with him facing, facing himself in the mirror first, and I think he's done that, and I think he's, he's right where he want to be. He, he wants to succeed, and he wants to be the player that he can and, and capable of being. And he's going to have the right guys in his corner, and I'm one of those guys who want to be in his corner, and I've put that message to him. I just it, put, your work in, put your work into, it, into your, your life and put your craft and your work, and, uh, work into your craft, and everything will pay off. You just got to believe in it. And I think you got to have the right guys around you. And I, I, I just want to be one of those guys to help him because I believe in him. How encouraged are you, Jay, that there hasn't been a you know a really slow start where you guys have gotten buried early? I mean, they seem to be ready. And then the second part of that, as a young team, is it just take a while to, to figure out how to sustain things when you start yeah. well? Well, I told uh, Big Jonas, Valentunas, uh, me and him are the older guys on the team. We have to set a tone. When you, when you play on a younger team like this, and we, us being the, the guys that we've been around, and the teams that we've been on, we have to bring that every night. We have to set a tone, and the rest of the guys will follow. I think that's more so of just our action, our, us playing, us hitting first, us being the team to hit first, not trying to accept the hit from other teams. And I think once we have that along, uh, the young guys will catch on, and it'll keep, it'll keep building from the first unit to the second unit to whoever else uh, comes into the game. So I just think we have to have that to be in the games. I think we can't, we can't afford to have a slow start. Uh, because we do have a young team and they may start uh, duck, uh, um, feeling the pressure of, of being down or something like that early. So I just want to have a good start. I've made it a, I made it a purpose to have our first unit all on the same page. We're all ready to go. We're always trying to attack first and hit first. And I think it's been paying off here uh, in the first four games, but we have a long season to go. What do you see in terms of the guy's body language when a game starts to turn? In the yeah. second half, you, you see a change in them? A little bit. And I just, 
I think that's just being a young. I think um, a, a LA team really, uh, or a veteran team really feeds off that. I've been on the other side of it. I saw a young team look down and look down. I'm ready to attack even more than I'm ready to kill. It's like a been in a while. A lion sees a prey hurt, <laughs> sees to see someone down, he's ready to attack even more. So it's the same thing. A uh, veteran team like LA saw us a little down. Um, they, we tried to pick up the physicality, and they really did on, on their end, on both ends of the court. They started playing with more force, and uh, we just we didn't we didn't we didn't meet we didn't match the, the intensity of the game. So I think I'm still trying to instill that into our younger guys. Uh, good or bad, you have to be the same way. You have to still attack the, each possession the same way. Uh, don't don't let your opponent feel feel that you're down or feel that you're uh, impacted by a run or anything like that.